welcome to my channel this is Anne signature beauty channel and um, I know I'm into a lot of things <laughs> I've been I'm doing a lot of tutorials but for this period I'm going to be I've been focusing on hair ventilating okay and everything that, that goes around with everything that is around hair ventilating so in this particular tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to dye your lace how to dye your lace this is very very important um, because the lace is supposed to be like the scalp on top of the head that's it's supposed to act like your scalp so a situation whereby the lace is looking too light that's that's a very big problem so guys um if this is your first time of joining uh, on, of clicking on my video to watch you're highly welcome but um if you're an old subscriber i hope you've been learning a lot and i, I hope you've started your business good I'm not settled at all. I just I just came back from work and, and I'm not just I'm tired. This is actually my third time of doing this video. The first time it didn't go well. Second time I lost some of the video clips and now this is the third time and I'm so angry. But I'm just gonna get it done. So guys, and um, there are different ways to dye your lace. You can use um, red dye. You can use permanent marker. You can use shoe spray. Anyone. But um, in this video, I'm not going to be going into details on how to use this. I'm just going to tell you guys how to go about this. So all you have to do is just to open. It it up like so add some water into it and then squeeze out the ink so when you squeeze out the ink make sure it's not too dark so it doesn't over darken your lace so you leave it on you leave it in there for a little while before bringing it out and then you allow it to air dry and then you rinse okay so um if you're using the um if you're using the shoe spray it's on the screen i don't know if you guys can see it it's on the screen right now if you're using the shoe lace um do the same thing but in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to dye with red dye I tried when I got this red dye, I tried bleaching um, this lace. There's this lace. Actually, we have different types of Swiss lace from China. Some of them are fake, others are um, some are original, you know. So I tried to bleach this over and over again, but it did not work out. So um, what I later did was to okay, right inside this bottle is red dye, a concentrated red dye. Okay, so I actually kept it here for continuous use. So I don't have to keep buying red dye. So what I normally do is whenever I want to dye a lace that is not of high quality because it's not every customer that can afford something that is of high quality. So what I normally do is I put it inside this stuff. I empty a little bit of it, like I pour out a little bit and then I place this um, lace into it that's talking about the swiss lace the fake swiss lace this one is sold for four thousand naira, i guess in nigeria and um it's very difficult to dye so what i normally do is i place it into this water into this red dye and then i leave it there to sit for about three days okay when i bring it out this is what it looks like okay you can see it's it's way um natural i mean it's way more transparent and it blends more into my skin when you do that so from here i'm actually talking up from here went all the way from here to here so you guys can see the difference okay mm -hmm. so that's the only way i know you can do this you can do this the longer you leave it to sit in there the more the darker it is it, it becomes then for this particular method i'm going to be showing you guys this is also going to show us the difference between these two lists i actually sell this list for six thousand euro per yard sometimes i do sell five five you know just to make sales quick sales so um i actually sell the original one for six thousand per yard while this other one goes for four thousand naira per yard so now let's try out something when you try to rip this net it you see that it just rips rips out like that rips rips up whatever but then when you try to do this you see this is very difficult this is what we call this is korean lace this is original swiss lace so it's not easy to rip like that of course when you add more strength it's me yeah it's tearing out but it's not as soft although from the feeling from the texture this one is um that this particular one is stronger than this one but when we try to rip them out this one um tears easily more easily than this other one so let's go ahead and get into this experiment right here so i'm not going to be spending so much time explaining everything so i'm going to be pouring some water into this bowl just a little water and then i'm going to add some pinch of salt because they said the more salt you add the higher the um color payoff you get right so i'm just going to open up this i'm not going to measure the amount of um that i'm just i'm going to be putting it into it i'm just going to pour it out like that and then i'll stir it this bowl is actually the bowl i use for everything so as you can see it's the bowl is already giving up <laughs> so i'm just going to drop this two lace and then let's see so this is the fake lace drop it right there okay and then this is the original one and i'm also going to drop it right there so without wasting so much time because i don't want it to darken so much you can see what we have here you can clearly you can see clearly see that this one has already been dyed this one has already dyed while the other one oh my god i don't want this to sit here for long while this one is still 
um, retaining its original color. So I'm just going to go ahead and rinse the top there. And this is what we have after bleaching, after um, after dyeing it. And this is what we have from this side. You can see what's going on here. So I'm going to show you. This is the so original is the original color. color of the Swiss lace. And I placed that back of my hand. You can see. And then this is the one I tried to dye you can see there's no difference but then working with the original one so this is the original one this is the one this is the original color for someone that is lighter than me of course and then i tried to dye it i can see guys you can see what's going on here this is my exact skin color so if i should go ahead and uh, maybe add a little glue this is just a light hold and then i place it on my skin you can see what's going on here you can see this thing literally, it literally disappears into my skin. So this is what you get from an original Swiss. You can lace. see, um, this is my exact skin color. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. There is no significant change in this, while there is an obvious change in this. I don't know if you guys can see, this is way more like my skin. This is way more like my skin now, after dying than this other one so that is it guys for this tutorial for this short clip okay um here i tried leaving it this is original swiss lace i tried to leave it inside the red dye for a day and we ended up having this so you can see the color and if you use shampoo on this no matter what you use on this it doesn't wash off it remains the way it is so this i left for i think about 20 minutes and it came out like this so I hope you guys learned something and if you're ordering for the original Swiss lace, that's my number on the screen. You go ahead and put a call across to that number or you can also WhatsApp that number. Or if you're buying the fake one, still your choice. It doesn't matter. It's not everybody that can afford the other one. Fine. You still go ahead and place a call across to the number. I hope you learned something today. Do have a wonderful time and um, thanks a lot for watching and following. I'll watch it to the end. Have a nice time. Love you guys. Bye. Yes, before I leave, my next video will be on Swiss lace, different types of Swiss lace and um, different colors you can find um, on Swiss lace. This is very, very important. Some people say, I need transparent, uh, transparent lace. I'm like, okay, what shade? They say, no, it doesn't matter. Just transparent lace. We are going to be discussing all that into details. And then, um, I don't know why some people just want to lighten up their skin or their scalp using a light colored Swiss lace. Men, I think it's always better to go for your shade. In the next, in my next video, I'm going to be discussing that to details. So do have a wonderful time and I'll be expecting you watch my next videos. I'll be expecting to see you guys in my next video. Have a nice time. Bye-bye.